Hey guys, what's up? This is Holstman here, also known as Jonathan from AAA Gaming, and today I am going to bring you a Minecraft snapshot. Now, this is snapshot 13w18c and... Why are you looking at me like that, villager? Well, as I said, this is 13w18c, and this is more bug fixes to the previous snapshot. But since I never reviewed the past several snapshots, this might be a triple feature. So... First of all, Dr. Zark, the creator of Mo Creatures, decided to team up with Mojang to add horses to the game. Now, these add a much better p travel functionality. You can actually control them, unlike pigs. Though pigs are still fun to ride. So, if you get in here, you can tell that there are many varieties of horses. There's gray, there's black, there's brown, different shades of brown. And there's different designs on it too. That's spotted, that's sort of... I'm not sure what that's called, but... It's like that. There's also a different type of spots that I don't have here. So, to break in a horse, or to tame a horse, you have to keep right-clicking on it to... sort of... T until hearts appear above their head. But they'll try to buck you off until you actually tame them. See? I don't think this one's already tamed, is it? No, it's not. You might have to be in survival mode, I'm not sure. But now to get off of horses and... No, he wasn't tamed, he bucked me off. To get off of horses and pigs and minecarts and other objects that you ride, you have to press the sh your sneak key. It's, it makes it easier so that you don't accidentally right-click off or something. And over here is a donkey. Now, this is a rarer version of the horse. It also spawns naturally, but it's much more rare. So, if you breed a donkey with a horse, then you can actually get a mule, though I don't have that here, because I don't know how to breed them right now. Maybe you have to use hay blocks, but you guys can figure it out. And when I, when I mentioned hay blocks, those are these yellow blocks over here. Now, you can feed them the horses to heal them, along with apples, golden apples, and wheat. But they're just a cool decoration to add to your farm. They can tilt to the side and up like logs. And they're just pretty cool. So, horses have some objects that you can add to them to make them better. So if I find it here, I have a ravine with a zombie dungeon down there. Now, no zombies were spawned because I'm in peaceful. Now, I already looked in these chests earlier, so this one has name tag, a new object, a saddle, and you just use normal pig saddles to ride horses, and horse armor. Now, you can use these to say the name tag to name your animals, saddle to ride horses, and horse armor gives your horse more health and better strength so that they can take more hits. Because while you're riding a horse, you can actually attack with your sword or with a bow. In here are just some extra items along with an iron horse armor, but this is all I need right now. So, I'm going to come back to the horses, and did I already- I don't think I tamed any of them yet. Can I put- I need to tame a horse. Hopefully it won't ta be too hard to tame. So, if I try- he fucked me off. And I'm going to keep trying to tame him, because in order to put saddles and armor on the horse, you have to actually tame the horse. This is a very resilient horse. So guys, if this takes too long, I may have to be back when this horse is tamed. So, yeah. Okay guys, I'm back, and I've tamed the horse. So now I put a saddle on the horse, and I can ride it. So, that bar on the bottom of the screen, that has like a purple line, is the jump bar for the horse. You hold down the space bar and it fills up the bar and I think the best time to jump is right after the purple but before it reaches the end. That's when you get the best jump. Now if I get off by pressing shift or the sneak key I can put the armor on and now he looks shiny with nugget armor all over. It just looks m so much cooler and I think it even adds a better saddle design and you can take more hits. And not when I mention hits, when you hit a horse and you kill it, it will give you leather, like a cow. Okay, so n there's more items that were added, including this name tag. 
So I put the name tag in an anvil, and I rename it. I'll name it Wolfie, because I'm going to get a wolf. So now I have a Wolfie name tag. So then I'm going to get a wolf egg. It's not there. It's right there. With bones, which are here. And there you are. Wolfie. Hi, Wolfie. So that's just a new way to name your tame dogs and cats, and I think you can name other animals too. So, next are the craftable items. This is how you craft the hay blocks or the hay, hay bales, as I prefer to call them. You use nine weed in a square, sort of compresses them, and it's just a nice decoration. Now you use nine. Be quiet, wolf. Now you use nine coal to make a block of coal, and this completes like the ore compression. So you can now compress redstone, you can compress diamonds into blocks. So this completes the full list. So if I take out this block of coal and I put it in the furnace, it'll actually smelt 72 items, which is a much better way to smell. It's much nicer. If you fill it up, you won't have to fill up the furnace for another long time. And now, as you notice, as I smelt the clay, it made a new block called hardened clay. This is purely aesthetic. It's just a... Why are you growling? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Wolfie. You were too loud. So, I have hardened clay here. It's a nice decoration. Sort of a better form of clay, because now I think you have to use a pickaxe to mine it. Unlike normal clay, which you have to punch, and it's much stronger than the original clay. So I'll just break this. So, there's two more objects that you can craft. You have the leads, which if I take one out... Oh, and it crafts two leads per recipe. So if I take one out and bring it over here to the horses, or the one I tamed, and I tie it, he'll follow me. He'll follow... Oh, he wasn't following me. Do I have to be in survival mode? Oh, the armor is weighing the horse down. So apparently armor weighs horses down. I'll be back with another tamed horse so that I can show you how the lead works, because I c don't think I can take the armor off. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I've tamed the white horse, or the steed. So now I'm going to tie the lead to him, and now he's following me. See? So... He this lead is really strong, so I believe... No, no. Oh, yeah. If you bring the lead too far away from a horse, the lead will actually break. So be careful about that. You don't want your lead to break and your horse to run away. But with the lead, you can, well, lead the horse. Also, you can tie it to fences so that they won't be able to get away. So say you want to leave your horse somewhere in the open... You can just place a fence down and tie it to it, and it'll be left there. So I'll just leave my white steed over there. Finally, we have carpets. In order to craft a carpet, you need two of any color of wool, horizontal, side by side, and you get three carpets. With the carpets, you can place it on the ground, and it's one sixteenth of a block high. So, like a pressure plate, if you step on it, it won't raise your height in any way. It's also purely aesthetic so if you want to change the floor color of your house but you don't want to actually change the floor you can just put a carpet on top it's pretty cool so we have some redstone updates over there so those are redstone comparators they're not too new they're in the rec they're more recent but they're not too new so i have water buckets and i have glass bottles what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to put the water bucket in the cauldron. And what's t time set night? So, you can probably tell that the redstone is going three blocks out of four. And I'm going to turn on my particles, so you guys can see it. There. It's going three out of four. So, when I... Put a, take out water using a glass bottle, it'll only go 2 out of 4. Take out one more, it'll only go 1 out of 4. And finally, no more. So now the water gives off a redstone signal. I have a ton of broken leaves in the ground. 
Now I need an eye of ender. So now if I put an eye of ender in the end portal frame, it will send off a strong redstone signal. And it should go 15 blocks as far as a redstone torch, I believe. So these are good for adventure maps. So if you want to have some fancy gadgets set up in your map, then you can use these to your advantage. Okay guys, I wanted to show you this really quickly. They added some desert updates, so now they're more desert-like. These water pits will no longer appear in the middle of the deserts randomly. They'll be found only along the edges. So if you're lost in the desert, it'll probably be harder to find water. So as you can see, there's not as much water as before. It's more barren. And just more sand. Sand everywhere. Unless you find a desert well. That's a good source of water there. So, next I'm going to show you an update they've added to the nether, which is pretty cool. And I'll see you there. So guys, they changed a feature of the nether fortresses, so that now you can find chests inside the nether. So, these chests are sort of like chests in the open world, except they have some nether stuff, like golden chest plates, golden armor, and mostly just golden stuff. Though you can also find saddles, which you can ride horses with, and you can also find horse armor, I believe. Yep, here's some gold horse armor, nether warts, and more gold. The nether chests usually have a lot of gold, though. So, it's just a cool way to find more chests, and this is more efficient than actually searching for dungeons in the surface world, because there's way more chests in one nether fortress. As you can see, there are two chests right next to each other here, and there's many more spread out within this whole fortress. So see you guys back in the open world. So guys, I am back in the horse world. Where'd it go? Okay, I'm back in the horse world, and I believe that is it with the snapshot. So, I'm sure there's more, but I will post a link to the post where you can download the snapshot, and if there's more, it'll probably tell you there. Or you can check the Minecraft wiki, it'll give a more in-depth guide on the sna recent snapshots. So if you want to see what else was added, you can just go check it out there. Okay guys? Oh, one more thing. You can also find horse armor and other objects inside of the village chests, as I just found out a moment ago. Which is pretty cool, if you find an NPC village, it's another easy way to get the horse armor. So, I guess that's about it. If you like the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.